CRP is a marker of inflammation. It stands for C-reactive protein. Homocysteine is another marker of inflammation. It is believed that coronary disease is a, is a disease process of inflammation. It's a chronic inflammatory disease condition. And that looking at markers of generalized inflammation have been shown to be linked to increased levels of coronary artery disease. So that's why looking at a CRP in particular uh, has been helpful in helping define somebody's risk for coronary disease. There was a recent trial that came out called the Jupiter trial. And it was published in the New England Journal of Medicine in November of 2008. And it was a test done looking at people that had elevated CRP levels greater than two who did not have coronary disease and who had relatively what are considered to be normal LDL or bad cholesterol levels. It was found that by treating these people with a cholesterol lowering medicine, and in this trial they particularly used Crestor, helped markedly reduce their incidence of coronary disease and the trial was ultimately stopped early as a result of it. So there is some benefit to knowing what your CRP level is, as well as a homocysteine. It's over 50% of people, or approximately 50% of people, who develop coronary disease don't have treatable cholesterol levels. So we have to feel that there is something else that's, a, that's explaining it. It is thought that this process of generalized inflammation may be responsible for the beginnings of atherosclerosis, whether your cholesterol level is normal or abnormal. And the Jupiter trial gets to the heart of this question.